Hi guys, uh, Siobhan from Dublin Pet School. Just thought I would do some simple videos over the next few weeks. Um, something that you can do at home if you find yourself confined to the home for the next few weeks or if you're restricting exercise with your dog for whatever reason. These are all things that are very practical. What I want to do is I want to do a go to bed, sit wait and a sit wait on the bed with distractions. If you think of your long term goal as being something like um, you have visitors coming in, your dog normally jumps all over them when he comes in, when someone comes into the room. What we're going to have is a dog that will go to bed on command, do a sit, wait while your visitor comes into the room and stay there until you say okay or whatever your release word is going to be. So we have a little process to do that and the process is if you imagine we're starting at the letter A and our final goal is E. A is going to help, help you shape what you want your dog to do. So the shaping bit teaches the dog to understand what it is you want. B is going to name the behaviour, so in this case you want them to go to bed, so I'm going to say bed when he actually lands on the bed. I'm not going to say bed when the dog is out here, because the floor is in the bed. This is what I mean by the bed for the dog. C then what I'm going to do is try and see if I offer him the food, is he going to say, okay I know what mum wants and jump straight on the bed, so he's really putting the whole picture together. D is going to be that we're going to build on that. So if he's jumping on the bed and I'm happy that he's going to the bed himself, I'm going to start looking for other behaviours. So some of my dogs do a down, some of them do a sit, some of them just prefer a down, you know, the collie types, they prefer to go into a down. So if he lands in a down, I'm going to do a down, I'm going to reward that several times, then I'm going to start building my weight on it. So you end up with go to bed, down, down weight, and you build on it, with your final bit, all the way, A, B, C, D, all the way down to E, your final bit is going to be E, where the dog will stay there while there's distractions now just on that note guys those distractions take a long time to build in so don't be in a hurry this is not something we're going to do in two days time so take your time do baby steps pick up a ball walk around the room will he still stay in the weight pick up the food bowl walk around the room will he still stay there step around the corner come back in will he still stay there and slowly building those weights and those distractions so let's start i'm going to introduce you to zach zach is 10 months of age He's my mad collie cross Jack Russell, very keen to work. So as I said, the first thing I want to do is to let him know that I actually want him to do something. I want him to go to the bed. So I'm going to put my feet and my shoulders in that direction. I'm going to let him know I have some food. And uh, you can see my feet in there. Yes, good, nice, good boy. Good boy, well done, good boy, nice. I'm going to step back and see if he repeats that for me. Do you want this? Oh, freebie, if it drops on the floor, it's a freebie, it's always my rule. Do you want this? How'd you get it? Yes, good, nice. Now you can see at this stage, Zach is already on C. He's already throwing himself onto the bed very quickly. So at this stage, I would be naming the behavior once he lands on it. Bed, yes, nice. Bed, good boy. But if you're starting off and your dog is slow to start off, once they put their nose or their foot in the direction you want them to go, say yes, yes, yes. And when they're fully lying on the bed, bed, good boy, good boy. The next thing you'll see happening here with Zach is that he's actually offering a down. As I said, the collie types, a lot of them prefer the down. So Zach is in it. Good boy, nice. Good down, good boy, nice. So with that, I'm going to build in my weight. Weight. Good boy, well done. And I use a lot of verbals as well and the hand signals as well to go with it. I have some deaf dogs, those of you who know me. And one of the videos we're going to do later on is how you can still have your deaf dog work away, um, even though we can't hear you, with just some hand signals. But for now, it's a wait and feed. Good. And now I'm going to start stepping away. Wait. And feed. Wait, step further away, and return and feed. So if he does that, okay, yes, nice, good boy, good choice. Good boy, well done. So we'll try that again because he moved at the end, and you want him to be really solid there. Wait, so I walk quite a distance away, I'm planning. Wait, okay, nicely done, good boy, well done, good boy. So I'm going to swap out the dogs and just show you a different dog. We might add in a distraction then of someone else coming into the room. Well done, Zach. Good boy. Good Hi, Finn. What do you want? So Finn is a little bit more advanced on this. He's been doing this a while. How'd you get it? Oh, well done. Good boy. And straight up onto the bed. No issues. Oh, wow. We've got two joining in. <laughs> There's a good distraction. Minnie, you pop in here. You can come out in a minute. Oh, good boy. What else can you do? So I'm going to take that from the side. 
stuff. I'm gonna take over here. <laughs> What's this? What have I got? Good boy, bed. So I name it as bed because he clearly landed on the bed. Bed, good boy. And I'm gonna see if you offer me something else. Finn, what else can you do? What can you do? So he's one of the dogs that <coughs> prefers more of the sit behavior. Good boy, good sit, good sit. We've been doing a lot of trick training with Finn, so if anybody sees him sneezing or wiping his feet or stuff like that, it's because that's what he's been getting rewarded for, and that's going to be another one of our videos is some trick training later on. But right now, I just want a simple sit. Sit, good job, nice. Wait. I'm in with the weight again, and this time, what I'm going to do is show you what I mean by a distraction. So wait, picking up the toy, bouncing stuff all around. Good, wait, good boy. I'm going to try knocking on the door now. Wait. Good. And then even I'm going to add in another dog. So wait. Down. Wait. Nice. Good job. Good, guys. So you're slowly, slowly going to build in those distractions, keep that going. Start with someone in the family that the dogs know. And what you'll do there is when they come in, ask that person to completely ignore them. Keep working those sit weights and then you can build up on for your visitors. But that's it guys, talk to you soon in new videos.